Okay, um, I'm going to describe to you quickly the difference between a vector and a rusted object. A rusted object is compo um, composed of pixels. So any JPEG or bitmap or Photoshop image that you may have worked with is uh, composed of pixels. So individual tiny um, squares of color that when you zoom out far enough um, appear to be um, a single image so we can't detect those individual pixels. Now I'll zoom out a bit and I'll zoom in on this JPEG that I copied off the web. This is a photo, um, a cheeky photo of uh, an author called Paul Schiebert. and It's quite old and uh, but you'll notice that you can't actually see that it's pixelated at this view. But if I zoom in all the way in you can see that the photo is in fact made up of tiny little squares. Um, these tiny little squares of color each one is a pixel. So when you hear about resolution, for example, the uh, resolution of your screen might be 1280 by 7, um, 720. That's 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Um, and DPI or PPI, points per inch, dots per inch, well, these are the points or dots that they mention. So how many dots per inch uh, would, reveal, would um, describe the quality? Megapixels, which I'm sure you've heard of, um, talk about the same thing. 3,000 megapixels would be 3,000 pixels. So I'll zoom out. The difference now, that, so that's a rusted image. If I go to a vector image here, a vector image is uh, one created by a path that is a controlling geometry, which might have an algorithm attributed to it. And if I use my selection tool and go over the top, you can see the path is selected. Um, so vector-based um, um, systems are traditionally CAD systems. Uh, you may be familiar with, so AutoCAD. Um, and then those, ve those vector paths, if I select that path, are attributed an appearance in Illustrator. So um, you'll notice that the vector is made up of individual lines which form a polyline in those, li those points. You can see the control points on the edge um, signify those points where the geometry changes. Each one of these is a straight line. And there's a whole bunch of different vector editing things we can do later, which is the root of the power behind uh, Illustrator CS5. But um, the appearance I mentioned is you could characterize as the way it looks. So the path is the skeleton, you could say, and the appearance is the flesh and skin. It might be a bit gruesome, but that's how it is explained. Now, if I zoom in all the way, because the appearance is generated by properties such as uh, the thickness of a line or the color of a line or the way it turns a corner um, it doesn't pixelate so I could uh, scale this up by a thousand percent or ten thousand percent and it wouldn't pixelate so that's one of the major benefits of uh, vector work and you can see that it hasn't pixelated at all I've zoomed in all the way that I could but if I zoom out you'll see that it is quite a skinny line so if you're interested in more um, definitions of vector and rusted uh, work to really find out what the difference is. If you're still confused, have a look online and I'll supply a link next to this video.